Just in case you wanted to know what a herminga was, it's Spanish for ant. Ant. He's a red ant though, so rojo hormingas, but hormingas. Ants can be red, right? <laughs> This is Mark the Ballpark Hunter. We're in Weimar to check out the home of the Hormigas of the Pecos League. My second Pecos League ballpark It's right through that doors. Let's go look. All right, Veterans Park, Strickland Field, home of Weimar Baseball. Pecos League, June 13th, 14th, 15th. They sell beer, so don't bring it in. All right, this looks like an old-fashioned classic ballpark. It still has a lot to offer. A little fancier than what they have in Austin. It looks like a perfect spot for a baseball game. Look at this. All right, we're in luck. We're gonna see the Hormigas. Look at that hat right there. Say you don't like that logo. Say you don't like an ant on your hat in Spanish. So we're going to check them out with some BP, talk to Jonathan Garza, their ma manager. He told me to stick around, and I don't know about you, but these are the type of ballparks I go gaga for. It's old, it's classic, but it's kept up quite well, and there's no reason baseball shouldn't be played over here. But let's see what kind of concessions they sell here. Look at this. This is nicely decorated and uh, makes you kind of say, hey, let me get some shaved ice. So let's take a closer look. Okay, your hot dogs are three bucks. Frito pie is four. Nachos are four. <laughs> French fries are not available, sorry. Hamburgers are six. Hamburgers are going up in price. Inflation. You get your Gatorade, you get your popcorn, sunflower seeds, little shaved ice. I gotta tell you, it's hot here and you got all sorts of flavors. Cotton candy, pickle, pickle juice, shaved ice pickle juice and tiger's blood you get tiger's blood or pickle juice uh, I think I'll go with tiger's blood but I would probably get mango or pineapple and you can get your soda so this looks like a coca-cola no they got coke and Pepsi and seven up in big red if you're in Texas you definitely want a big red so not not very ingenious here though but <laughs> And this looks like a, a fixin's bar. Get your stuff here, so. Field looks nicely compacted, natural field. Uh, here are the Hormigas jerseys. It goes leak behind it. I bet they're air drying, let's see. No, they're dry. They're dry. But here's their dugout here. And, and this is an actual dugout. This is not any kind of city park dugout. That's a dugout. So once again, very nice, and of course, somebody's got some bling bling. Here's the grandstand. Covered grandstand, there's the press box up above. You got your uh, right field bleacher seating, 320 to the foul line. Got the groundskeeper making sure this is gonna be perfect for today. And you got a nice little scoreboard over there, Weimer Veterans Park. And you got some advertising up here. So they call you Ant-Man. Yes sir, yes sir. All right, and you play for the? Why more Amigas. All right, seems like it was meant to be. Yes sir. <laughs> so what can you tell folks about coming to a game here? Oh man, the environment is crazy. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of entertainment. Uh, we handle business, so yeah. we're gonna take care of the fans. We're gonna take care of our plays, so you guys like watching professional baseball at its finest, we're definitely gonna bring it to you. All right, so they're set up for batting practice right now. They do it the old school way. They bring it out. There's the batting cage. There's the pitcher's net. Same thing with out there. So, so we got the players here. These are all guys who are all over the country coming out to play some pro ball. You got some uh, local help here, making sure the suntan's on because it's hot. 
So uh, where are you from? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. So how do you like playing in the Pecos League so far? It's pretty good. The competition's pretty good. Uh, we're having fun. So. All right. And how's Weimar treating you guys? Good. We haven't been here much. We just got back from a road trip, but uh, when we're here, they're, they're treating us pretty well. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, and definitely have to have that suntan solution yeah. on. Yeah. I'm uh, Brett Scherzer. I'm from no, Stockton, California. Okay. And how long have you been in the Pecos League for? Uh, this is my second year. Okay. I played one year last year with Trinidad and Salina. All right, and how do you like Weimar so far? I know you guys just started, but so far so good? Yeah, I think it's great. Honestly, we have a good squad of a lot of hungry guys. They're looking to grind and get their career started here, you know? Uh, I think it's a great facility, great field. Um, we've only played one game at home so far, but the fans were awesome that first night on opening day. Okay. And uh, just excited to play more ball games here with these guys and keep grinding. All right. So, tell them All your story. All right, so what's your name? Uh, Nate. Nate? Yes. And what is your position with the Hormigas? How'd you get involved working for this team? My dad. Your dad? Yeah. Who's your dad? Number 22. Oh, number 22. Okay, so what are some of your, what else besides being a bat boy, what else do you do for the team? Uh, like, I like talking to the players a lot. I like being in outfield, taking BP. Okay. Shag and flies. Yes. Nice. Just being, just being Throwing part. Baseball. Yeah, just being with the baseball team. Yeah. And when I was your, how old are you? Uh, ten. Ten. When I was your age, this would have been a dream job for me. Yeah, it's fun. Oh my goodness. Yeah, keep doing it. And then, do you play baseball? Uh -huh. What position? Third. Third. Okay. All right. Well, you know, who knows? Maybe ten years from now, we'll see you in the minor leagues. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna walk around uh, outside of the concourse. You know, this reminds me of one of those ballparks in the 1940s in 50s and and it's kept up really well this is not some shellac or this is not some like you know i don't know what word i'm trying to use here this is not some rickety rockety ballpark this is a very well maintained one and i don't know how many people have come out to see a game here but they would be really surprised on what they see here uh, especially right in front of me Baseballs and sign bricks. So, have to really appreciate the work here. Uh, and then we have a mural here along with uh, some more info. And then the Hormigas logo and schedule. Uh, as we walk around, we see home of the Babe Ruth League World Series 2003, 5, and 12. If you check out this uh, video from Anderson, you can see where they held it in 1966. And I believe this is the local high school, State 2A Champions, uh, a powerhouse in the mid 90s up until 2003. I assume this is where they play. So you can also see high school baseball, Babe Ruth baseball, and now professional baseball with the Hormigas. I don't get a lot of uh, views from inside the dugout, so now that I have the chance, I'm gonna jump on it. This hat is really nice. It's uh, it's not your strict cotton. It feels like it's a little synthetic blend. Perfect for the 95 degree heat that's going on right now. It's actually 95 degrees on the field there, so whew, nice and cool here. Oh, look at that breeze. Give it to me, give it to me. So look at this water fountain here. Nothing's coming out. Looks like it hasn't been used in quite some time, so. It's a dugout. Here's the bottom of the dugout, and here's the top of the dugout. Bats and helmet racks. So these guys are setting things up. Get out here early, take some practice swings, some fielding, and then get ready for the game later on tonight. <laughs>
All right, now we're gonna look at the cool stuff, the grandstand, and you know how I am about covered grandstands. So let's walk up to the top where it's a little bit cool. Uh, as you can see right outside of the fences, residential homes. And here is your ooh, ballpark, but I got a duck because these things are a little bit loot, uh, low. And once again, here's the view. Like I said, you know, it's hot out there, but nice and cool under here. Nice and cool, very cool, nice and nice. Ow. I tried. So there you go. And there's the old crow's necks press box. There's a really nice breeze coming through the back of uh, the back of this uh, grandstand right now, and uh, it doesn't feel like it's 90 plus degrees out there. It just feels like a nice spot to enjoy some BP or watch a game. So I'm enjoying it. I hope you are. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, Ballpark Hunter. Like, comment, tell me things that I need to know or shouldn't know. Now uh, there's the stairs to uh, the press box. I'm sure there's some things in there that are locked up. We won't go in there. I bet this is the scores table. So let's put ourselves in line with the score or the media. And this is our view from the game. A little comfortable, nice little seating here. And like I said, there's the press box and it's AC. It has to be AC, you be cooking. And then. There's. I love how all uh, these signs are painted against each part of the wood gives it that nice old vintage feel. Aaron, what, do you, what does he do? <laughs> so over here, as you can see, these are painted onto the wood, and some of them look a little bit nicer than others. I feel like I'm back at Miramo Field. You can check out that review up here, uh, looking at the outfield ads. Uh, you see how some of these kind of jet out and give it a nice little vintage look. This is peeling. And if you look at the Weimar Lions Club, this piece is kind of popping out right here. So uh, I got to keep my eye on the ball because it is live BP. And the ball can hit me on the noggin if I'm not paying attention. I'm like, he's not gonna hit up here. What, do you, what does he do? <laughs> Well, that does it for a visit to Veterans Memorial Park in Weimar. I had an amazing time here. Usually I see games or I walk around an empty stadium. I got to walk around, interview some players, the Bat Boy, talk to the guy who runs the place, and I had a blast. So this is Mark, the Ballpark Hunter, saying thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel and check out more ballparks from around the North Americas. We'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,